product of the cricket. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here he is, ready for round one. This man is all the rage, given what he did his last time out. It was a win by flush knockout. Now he'll try to keep the momentum going as the challenges get more difficult. You win in the UFC, nine times out of 10, the next opponent is decidedly better. That is certainly the case here tonight. Whoa! What a fantastic... Oh! Right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. How do you get out of harm's way here, I mean, DC? you gotta shove that knee, John. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes have already landed for Tiago Mahetta Santos. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And they separate. That's a big strike right there. Oh! oh! a huge knee to the body. So a strong five minutes down. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Oh, nice one, two there from Tiago Santos. I'm not sure his boxing has ever looked as good as it looks here tonight. No, he's never looked as good because he's not draining himself down to 185 pounds. He's fighting in a more natural weight class. This is a big, powerful guy with a real long background in striking, and it shows every time he steps in the octagon. Oh, a huge block there. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. It's nice leg kick land. Big power shot there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Single collar tie now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh! Another clinch position. Really timing his shots nicely. Good. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press.
aggressive. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Blocks the shot. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. He got him. Wow! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Stuff the takedown, no problem. What a run. Stop, stop, stop. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, big left hook there. Whoa! Big knee there to the chest. Able to check that kick as well. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Oh! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Visibly limping here. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Huge knee lands from in close. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Both guys appeared to land there. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh! All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work, make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Big kick lands. Oh! And just 
just like that, the fight is over. Yo, wow! That was nasty! Well, you've got to admire the approach there. Just eternally aggressive down the stretch, late in the fight, lands the huge shot cleanly, and clearly hurt his opponent very badly. He wanted to make sure the judges stayed out of this fight. Mission accomplished. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in it. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Pantera! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You're going to the end.